Hello, everybody. I'm Eddie Rawls. It's Jeremy Wheeler, and it's time for our weather update. Nice weather out there today. We had mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, Colonial Williamsburg all over the area. We did have a northeast wind pick up a little bit, and that uh, is going to keep the temperatures from climbing too much. Uh, we've been kind of holding in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees for a little while. I think we're going to top off in the lower 80s this afternoon with a few mid 80s inland. So on the satellite radar, we have a little more clouds down to the southeast. There's an area of low pressure offshore, but it's not coming this way, just throwing a few more clouds up here. Well, otherwise, we got a lot of sunshine as you go north and inland. So our winds are out of the northeast about 10 to 15 miles an hour. They'll stay up through the afternoon, 10 to 15. Uh, highs in the low 80s, fair skies, very nice out. Now we are tracking Tropical Storm Fiona. That is to the east of the Lesser Antilles, moving off in that direction. The circulation here is away from the bigger thunderstorms because of some shear and some drier air, but that might not happen much longer. And if that does happen, uh, where it gets away from that, then uh, it is going to probably strengthen a little bit as it heads towards the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico. After that, it moves to the northwest and uh, maybe towards the Bahamas. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty after that point. The models have been trending a little more to the north, and even some have been trending a little bit more to the east. So we'll see what happens with it. Uh, the European model is this white line, takes it a little more to the west. It's weaker. The GFS model, that one is stronger and takes it almost off towards Bermuda. So we'll watch it carefully for you. We'll bring you plenty of updates on it. Meantime, around here, we've got great weather. Highs in the upper 70s, low 80s next few days. Dry conditions, lows in the 60s, 50s inland. And then we're going to stay dry going into early next week, but we're going to heat up a little bit.